So four small companies are merging, uh, and in the merger, there's a number of issues that need to be settled. So each company is asked to place a monetary value on each item, uh, and then the allocation will be done using sealed bids. And so first thing we need to do is find the total value and the fair share for each of these companies. So for super designs here, 5 and 8 and 10 and 7 adds up to 30, uh, and then f fair share would be that divided over the 4 players is 7.5 thousand. And we'll do the same for the other players. Now we look and see which, uh, which which per, which company wins each of these I, uh, of the concerns. So the company name is going to go to the highest bidder. The company location will go to the highest bidder. CEO will go to highest bidder. And chair of the board will go to the highest bidder. And so now we look and see what's going to happen with each company. So Super Designs got the CEO, which they value at $10,000, but their fair share was only 7.5, so they're going to have to pay the difference. They're going to have to pay 2.5. Uh, Designed by me, value, got something they value at $9,000, uh, but their fair share was only 575, so they're going to have to pay the difference. They're going to have to pay 325. Now in this case, Layout Pros did not win any items, but their fair share was 550. So instead of paying money, they're going to get money from the holding pile. They're going to get their fair share. Now in this case, Graphics won two items with a total value of 14, and so to balance it out, they're going to pay uh, 725. So notice what's going to happen in our holding pile. We've got three sets of money coming in and one set of money going out. So we've got 250 coming in, 325 coming in, 725 coming in, and 550 going out. So we're going to subtract that out. Uh, but that leaves 750 in the holding pile. And so here's our initial allocation, but now we uh, have 750 left over in surplus. So now comes the fun part. Now we get to divvy that up. So 750 divided by 4. Uh, each person's going to get uh, 1.875. Remember, this is thousands of dollars uh, back. So. In the end, Super Designs is going to, let's see here, so in the end, Super Designs, they paid 125, but they're going to get, uh, they're going to get 1.875 back, and so in the end, they are going to pay, right, because the pay is more than the get, they're going to pay, uh, 0.625 thousand, with, in other words, $625. Uh, the design by me is going to get 1.875 back, so in the end, they're going to end up having to pay, they're going to end up having to pay 1.375 thousand. And in the, these guys are going to get 1.875 back in addition to the 5.5 they already got, so they're going to get a total of $7,375 uh, in compensation for the items that they did not win. Uh, this company is going to get 1.875 back, which means they're going to end up uh, paying uh, the difference, which is 5.375. And again, this was a get. Uh, and there is our final allocation. The highlighted items go to the corresponding companies, and this is the corresponding cash exchanges to balance out the valuations. And all these uh, people would feel like they have gotten a fair share.